there. Today I will be reviewing the Tarte High Performance Naturals Found Sealer Multitasking Foundation. Uh, this is a broad spectrum SPF 20 sunscreen. So the outside packaging looks like this. It's their very, um, very standard purple packaging. Um, and then it has like palm, palm fronds on the side here. This is cruelty free and vegan. It says that right here on the outside of the packaging. And inside the foundation, the foundation. So inside the foundation looks like this. It's um, interesting packaging because it feels like, and it looks like, it's packaging within packaging. Um, oh, that's why it's like this. Ah, okay, so the cap doesn't come off. It's a like a twist and the pump pops out type of deal. That's why when you like shake it around, you can hear the certain parts like moving around in there. Um, so the packaging is um, plasticky and then the top is like purple with green pump fronds that kind of reflect light. Uh, as you saw, this is how the foundation pump pops out. This is nice and sealed for when you like say you're traveling. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is my face is pretty much prepped. I just need to put some eye cream on. And we're gonna read a little bit about this foundation right now. The actual name of this foundation is the Baba Su Found Sealer Skin Care Foundation SPF 20. This retails for $39 and they have, as always, a very interesting shade range where there's not enough dark shades, typical. It has 81 reviews on Sephora and it almost has 4.5 stars. Uh, so this is a vegan makeup and skincare hybrid that is an everyday foundation for achieving an ultra comfortable natural radiant finish so the coverage should be medium but buildable um, the finish is radiant formulation is liquid it's for all skin types and it does have that SPF 20 so it's really nice uh, for when you are living in very sunny places like Florida there are a couple of highlighted ingredients in here uh, the babasu nourishes moisturizes and soothes the sunflower seed is rich in vitamins A and E to help hydrate regenerate and condition the skin and then hyaluronic acid retains moisture for optimum hydration and a refreshed appearance this this foundation says it's free of parabens, pharmaldehydes, phthalates, mineral oil, and triclosan. Uh, it's also vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free, which is nice. So it also has like a little blurb here that it says, formulated with nourishing babasu, essential fatty acids, and antioxidants, this blendable and customizable formula glides over your full face without cracking, caking, or settling, it helps hydrate and give the appearance of fuller, healthy looking skin and lets you live your day your way. So now that we have that little like thing done, I'm gonna grab a, um, a, a, a primer. I'm gonna grab a primer, be right back. So for today's primer, I wanna go in and use the No, no Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. It's gonna glide this on my face. And I'm gonna go and pump one one and a half pumps on my hand as you can see this is a thick formula it's not running down my hand it's definitely staying in the shape that i put it in so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna dab some on a half of my face and blend it out i don't know if it's gonna dry down and not be blendable if i don't do it this way so just to save some time i also got this in 227s which is light medium sand so the color looks pretty good Coverage, definitely medium. Like, I really cannot tell much of a difference between the left and the right side of my face. So, I'm just going to dab my sponge in this time and just try and add coverage to the places where I want coverage. Definitely looks a little bit better with a little bit more coverage. So, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to use two and a half pumps probably to cover my full face with the coverage that I want because I don't really go for full coverage, not at all, but I definitely like my face to not have any redness, like certain things can kind of peep through like my freckles and things like that, but I definitely don't like when you can tell that redness is popping through or like blemishes. Definitely everything that I had on the back of my hand is on my face now. And I would like to point out that considering how like thick the foundation is and um, how much I actually use on this one side, I definitely can say that it feels very light and airy and I really don't even feel like there's anything on my face. I did another two pumps and I'm gonna go and start blending it on this side. I do really like the finish. Definitely enjoy the finish. Blend, 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 blend. I think the color is so perfect. I mean, I do have a little bit of a tan right now, but 
Um, I think that it looks really good. Okay, so little recap right now on how I feel. I think that considering the fact that I have four pumps on my face right now, this is definitely more so I would say light to medium coverage. I would go through this very, very quickly if I did use it on an everyday basis where I am trying to achieve this look. And I'm not even a full coverage gal. So that's definitely, definitely kind of shying me away from this because I don't like to... Be worried about how fast I'm going to run out of my foundation. I would rather have a full coverage and kind of sheer it out versus having a sheer foundation that I need to kind of build up. Um, the net weight here is one fluid ounce, which is very standard for a foundation. So yeah, by me using four pumps, I really think that I would go through this very, very quickly. And I don't even have that much to cover on my face besides the little redness here and a couple blemishes elsewhere and maybe like kind of blur my freckles a little bit. So besides the fact that this is definitely not high coverage enough for me, I think it feels great on the skin for how much foundation I actually have on. It is looking very nice and radiant and just like my skin is glowing and just like naturally beautiful, which I do really enjoy when it comes to foundation. So now I want to see how things blend on top of it. So I'm going to take some Tarte Shape Tape. And just ever so lightly kind of apply some in the regular areas where I would. I'm just going to blend this out. out. I think this foundation will do just fine when it comes to staying in place as I put other products on top. I don't think Tarte would really, really something that um, wasn't capable of that. And by that, I mean putting cream products on top and making sure that foundation doesn't move. So I'm going to go in my Tartiest Pro Glow. And I am going to use my cream contour just to kind of... Give my face a tiny bit more definition. My hair was being extremely obnoxious, so I just decided to throw this little thing on top. Oh, this foundation is definitely doing just fine staying where it's supposed to be staying. I don't have a problem with that at all. It didn't move by me putting any kind of cream products on top, which is nice. And it's not looking cakey or anything like that. So I am going to set my face with some Dermablend powder. And I don't like to overset my face anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sponge. And the areas that I need most setting, I am going to just use the sponge. So underneath the eyes, on my forehead, and on my chin. And then everywhere else, I'm going to lightly dust like a big fluffy brush. Okay, and then I'm going to use this big brush to kind of warm up my face just a tiny bit with the Marc Jacobs bronzer. And then to kind of contour a little bit, I'm going to go in the Cover Effects face palette and I'm going to use the contour shade just to chisel my cheeks a tiny bit. And the reason that I'm showing you these steps is absolutely because I want you to see how products blend on top of this foundation when I didn't overset it, when I didn't bake it. Um, I want this look to be very nice and natural and not skippy. And it's nice to kind of lay your products on top just to see how the foundation performs with everything else that it would be naturally doing on a daily basis. So I think up close it looks just fine, but what I am noticing is that I definitely need to set it in certain areas a little bit more like on my eyelids I need to just set it a tiny bit more because it creased I'm just gonna take some of that powder and a little brush and kind of just set that down um, and then around the nose for sure because it definitely was creasing just a tiny bit and looking a little too kind of like cakey what I am gonna go also and do is take my cap on the lightest shades kind of mix them all three and brighten my inner corner right here and definitely add some color right here. Um, I'm also going to add a little bit of this finishing powder from the Cover Effects palette. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it with some setting spray. This is the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Mist and Fix. And then I'm going to bounce that in a little bit. And while that is there, I'm going to add a little bit of highlight. So I'm going to do the Becca Champagne Pop. So I do think that from far away right now, it looks really good. It still is looking quite radiant and very natural. So now that this foundation is on my face, I kind of want to tell you how it feels and how it looks, and I'll do a little bit of a close-up. Right now, it feels fine on the skin. I can't feel it, which is really, really nice. Um, I think it looks really, really good. Everything blended out very, very smoothly on top. There's no patching, no crusting, no caking. It does need to be set a little bit more than foundations that I'm used to because it is more of a radiant versus like 
more of a matte natural look to a foundation, but I don't mind that at all. I'm fine setting it in places a little bit more. What really it's gonna come down to is how this puppy wears throughout the day. Right now it is 12.50. So I'm gonna probably do a check-in at the end of the night and kind of show you how it wore. I'm gonna check out right now and then check back in with you a little bit later and then we can uh, kind of wrap up my thoughts there and I'll tell you exactly how I feel about the foundation after a full wear test. So as always let's not look at my lips because I tend to wear red lipstick and then at the end of the night I take it off and um, it gets super awkward. I just wanted to do a quick check-in on this foundation. Honestly I'm not a huge fan like I think that it kind of came off in really awkward areas like this whole area here is gone and I didn't like laying on my arms a lot today it just doesn't like look good anymore like I feel like kind of sunk in around my nose it's kind of gone around my mouth I feel like it kind of disappeared even underneath like my contour I just really am not a huge fan um it's not my favorite so I'm gonna give this a thumbs down I feel like Tarte just like cannot get their foundations together and that's just my opinion I will not recommend this to anyone and I just don't think that it looks good. Had high hopes but that just like didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. So that is where I'm gonna check out at. It's like a, it's a huge letdown for me. I just don't like it and I will not be wearing it anymore. So that is all that I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next